Welcome back to Finance Made Easy. This video is about how to set up auto investing in your Fidelity brokerage account and is a follow up to a previous video about how to start investing with $5. The link for that video is above. If you don't have a Fidelity brokerage account and you're planning on getting one, you should watch that video first. Let's start by heading to Fidelity's main page and selecting the More tab. Select Account Features. Select Manage Recurring Transfer. There are two options, Set Up Automatic Investment and Set Up Recurring Transfer. Click on Set Up Automatic Investment. You can set up automatic investment from your core position, meaning whatever cash you already have in your Fidelity brokerage account, or you can set it up directly from your bank account. Setting up auto investment from an external bank account is going to be the easiest and most efficient way of doing this if you don't have direct deposit set up with your Fidelity account. Choose an external bank account. Now select the external bank account that you want to transfer from. Make sure that the right account is selected if you have more than one. Under Transfer to, select where you want the funds to be transferred. And instead of your brokerage core account, choose a mutual fund. In this case, I'm going to choose Fidelity 500 Index Fund. If you are new to investing and you want to see how to purchase a mutual fund in Fidelity, you should click the link above. It is important to point out that you will only be able to auto-invest in a mutual fund you currently own and you won't be able to auto-invest in stocks or ETFs in Fidelity. Now select the amount. There's a minimum amount of $10 required to auto-invest. I'm going to set up auto-invest for the minimum. Now scroll down and select the day of the month that you want the auto-investment to take place, as well as how often you want it to take place. You have the option to set no stop date, which means that you would have to manually go into Fidelity to stop the auto investment. And the no stop date is a good option when you have investing already built into your budget. Having a stop date is a good option if you have a lump sum amount that you want to invest over time. For example, if you have $30 that you want to invest over a three month period and you want to invest $10 per month and you started your first investment in October, then you would set the auto investment to end in December, which is three months out. Click next, then agree. And that's it. You now have auto investing set up in your Fidelity brokerage account. This page provides a summary of the auto investment information. Make sure that the information is correct. However, if the information is not correct, you can always edit or completely delete the auto investment. If you want to edit or delete the auto investment, you can click Fidelity at the top left corner, or you can click on account and trade and then click on portfolio. This will take you back to the main page. Go back to more and again click on account features, then recurring transfers. Now you will see all of the auto investments and transfers that you have set up with your brokerage account. You can edit, skip an auto investment or transfer, or you can fully delete it. And this is how you set up auto investing with Fidelity. One of the reasons setting up auto investing is important is because it ensures that you're consistent, which is a key to great returns in the long term. If you like the video and you want to see more, please remember to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.